Welcome to day 32. We're currently at the highest ELO we've ever been at, at 1313. We're gonna play two games today and see if we can get that even higher. So let's start our first game right now. Uh, starting with the black pieces, looks like we will get to go into the Scandinavian defense, which I'm thankful for. I'm hoping that he takes here. Cause that'll let me bring my knight out, putting pressure on this pawn. Uh, beautiful, starting off great. Now, I do have 10 minutes on the clock, so I'm going to do my best to go slow on every single move right out of the opening. You know, right now, I'm still familiar with everything that's happening. Um, I'm thinking, well, not quite. If I do that, then he could just take the pawn there, and there'd be no benefit. So this is what I'm going to do first. Okay, he's attacking my queen. Just scoot it back one step. This is all positions that I've been in before, so it's nothing new. Okay, and then he pushes that pawn. All right, well, I guess I will just bring out my bishop and then castle. You know, castling queenside because it's already open for us. Now he does kind of have some pawns down here already, so I may not want to. Uh, so I might Fianchetto first and then see what the board looks like and so much for me going slow I did not see that oh that's annoying I guess it'd be better to take well gonna do that make him go here Give him another check and then take this pawn. And then I do need a Fianchetto. Um, so that I can castle. Should, maybe I should have done that first to mess up his pawns on the king side. Uh, looks like I still can. I don't like trading because I'm down so much, but I feel like it's the best thing to do in this position, messing up his pawns like that. Still can't believe that happened. Like that was such a stupid and avoidable mistake. Okay, I'll go ahead and castle and then push this pawn forward. He's going to push that, so then I'll probably go here, because I don't really want to lose that pawn yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and push this. Try to get it working its way up there towards the king. He's attacking this. I could go ahead and take if I wanted to. But I kind of like this move. Because if takes takes does happen, I'm threatening that. If I were to take his knight, uh, then his pawn structure would be good again. You know, I don't really want that. I'd rather those pawns stay doubled. That is just fine. Now, as I said, I'm threatening this. If he moves the bishop there, though, I will not enjoy that. Okay. So I'll just push the pawn. Now it's no longer uh, under pressure here. Uh, he's going after this pawn now, so I'll just push that. And then I might do this in the future. But I'm not quite sure what plan I should do. He's up a bishop right now, so that's bad for me. 
Okay. What's he thinking? Take, take. And then I'm kind of out of stuff. Although I could do this. But if take and he takes, then I'm not sure what my next move is. But I do kind of like the idea of taking here. I'm hoping he takes with this pawn because then I can slide over. And if he tries to block with that, I win a rook. That won't happen though. Uh, but I can always be hopeful, I guess. I do feel like my king is a lot safer than his, though. He hasn't done anything with this. Oh, my gosh. You know what I missed? That. I know that he sees it. Because if I take, he's going to take. Might be better off giving check first. Yeah, that's the only way to save both pieces is to trade him off, which sucks. But I completely blundered this rook, and he missed it, thankfully. But that could have been really bad. Yeah, I saw that coming. Um. So let me think. If I take with this, I just lose my rook. If I take here, it's check. He's going to take back. And then I could take, I guess it'd be there now. And then I could take this. Uh, but we'd be trading all those pieces. And then, um, you know, I don't think I'd be able to beat a rook versus a rook and a bishop. Um, either way, this is going to have to be my next move so that I don't lose pieces. And now I have a few options. I could go there or I could go here. Um, I could just go back and, you know, do all this, but, like, I don't really want to lose this bishop. Not yet, at least. Hmm. I don't have anything good. Kind of thinking that. I need to figure out how to take some of these pawns. So maybe that needs to be my next move. So I'll take here and then move my rook over and start trying to collect some pawns. I can go here, uh, threatening this one, or I can go up here uh, with check if he hasn't moved his king, and I'll win that pawn. Okay, he moves, so I guess now I will go right here, and he does not have a way to protect that pawn. So he will be dropping at least one pawn, you know, and that'll put me uh, behind only one point of material. Okay, he's trying to get me to trade, but I'm obviously not going to do that. I would love it so much if he went right there. Even a check, I can run away. Because if he blunders this, like it is a huge if. Yeah, which he did not blunder it. Because I'm not playing against an idiot. Oh, would have been nice if he did. Okay, if I were to trade off pieces, nothing good would come of it. I think I need to start getting my king a little bit more active. Let's see, do I go here? I think I do, because I need some help taking out this. Wish I had a way for my rook to get up here. Yeah, I saw that coming. It's going to take here. And then I'll go there. Protecting this one. And then I guess I could go either there or there. Um, each does something a little different. Gotcha. 
gotcha. I guess I'll go here. And after he moves this bishop away, I will end up winning a pawn after this. Although I guess now he can move there. Nice. Okay, so I will win a pawn. I'll probably push that pawn forward and then I'll have to go here for it. Uh, but I'll still get one and that will give me a passed pawn. So now he has to move this bishop somewhere, probably right here, yeah. Hmm, let me think. He has too much stuff there. So let me get him to move this bishop, and then I might try swinging around here. After I do that move, he'll most likely go there. Interesting. Well, then let's do this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go here. And after he blocks it, then I'll go up. Or, hang on, if he moves his king there, then I win a pawn moving here. Okay, he moves his rook. Um, so maybe now I start pushing this pawn. Need to get my king behind it. But I don't have a gr ooh. Hang on, I move it, then he moves the pawn with check, and then I move my king again, and then suddenly he's on this square. So that's not going to work. Let me try going there so that I can go here and at the very least put something on this pawn. And now if this stays the same, I can do this like I was wanting. And I'm hoping he will move that with check. Yeah. Now I'll move here. And then he'll have to protect it. Um, but now he's no longer controlling this line. I can start. Ooh. I'm not quick enough. Let me see. Take, take. Here, 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 there here and then he moves here and wins that pawn so it's not gonna work so I gotta try something else oh but he has too many pawns let me go there he's gonna have to move this one uh, that will let me get a check and I need to start working on getting this pawn up there He's just going to push this one now. Whatever I'm, I try, I'm too slow. He's going to do that a bit. I bet I was winning somewhere in this. You know, I don't feel like I was losing the whole game. Hmm, he's got me. Let's checkmate. Oh, well, he got me this one, uh, but we're going another, and that game is going to go better. So, let's just wait for the checkmate to come. There it is. So now, let's start. Well, no, we're going to review it first. Um, like, I know I screwed up in the beginning. Yeah, right? 
there. I cannot believe I did that. But from there forward, I played pretty good. Uh, except for that move, obviously. Right here, I was just barely losing. And then I made a big mistake there on that move. All right, well, let's go right into the second game. We get black again, all right. Oh, Scandinavian again. I'm going to do better this time. Let's see if he'll bring this knight out. Okay, going with the second pawn. Go there and go ahead and pre-move that. Okay, this is interesting. But I can go there now, and if he takes, and it's basically just like it was at the very beginning. Except that he's missing these two pawns and I'm missing these two. So let's see, after a trade, uh, then I basically start with my queen out. Let's see, what's he thinking? Ooh, I guess he can go ahead and give me a check. Well, I'm going to block with this, because if I block with the bishop, then I, uh, you know, that's not good. Because then he could take this. But I guess if he took that, then I'd take this. So, I don't know. Well, we've already got him just about down a minute. So let me see, I can take that now. It'd be awesome if he took with that pawn, but he does not. Um, so let's just finish getting developed. Let's see, I'm gonna push this, trying to get him away. You know, kind of bring my pawns out with tempo. He moves there. I do not like him pointing out that square because there's too many tricks that he could do. So let's get him away even further. He could go back there, which is fine. It's whatever. Um, but then, let's see. Do I want a Fianchetto? I like Fianchettoing. He doesn't have this pawn anymore, so that would be an interesting Fianchetto. So I th think I will do that to try to castle and then push this pawn forward. I guess I need to bring this guy out before push the pawn forward. Let's see, I do that, now he can't bring that forward because I do take. Um, interesting. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring out the bishop so that I can do this. I should have castled there. That was my bad. That's fine, I can still castle. Um, all right, let me think. Have the option to take. That would let him bring his queen out. Uh, I also have the option to get my bishop trapped, and I don't really like that option. Hmm. Position-wise, who has it better? I feel like I do, honestly. But would he have a better position after having his queen here? Yeah, that would put pressure on this, so I'd have to move this guy. And I do not have a good square to move him. So I think I'll just keep my bishop safe. Okay, well... Now, I would love to take this knight. With both of his pawns out here. Yeah, I'll take and then just push this pawn forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. I cannot push that pawn forward because this would then be hanging. Uh, so let's see. If I do that, I guess that's defended by my queen, so that's not a worry. Um, I do have this move, which would make him move his bishop. And then I'd be able to go to that square. And that seems like a really good square. I'd love to get rid of this guy. Now, I did see this, but, you know, that's nothing to worry about. But seeing something pointed at your rook from this diagonal is always scary. Interesting, he's just letting me take right here. Which I'm happy with, because that, that bishop was pointed straight at my king. Cool, now I can uh, move that pawn. And then push this forward. Hmm. 
wonder what his plan with that is. Let's see, I've got that, but after en passant, it's not good for me. We'll go here, pinning the rook to the queen. He was probably wanting to do that, uh, but I stopped it. Let me think, how can I put extra pressure on this rook? If I do end up doing this, after take, I take, he has to move the queen probably to here. Oh, and you know what? I have the option to take that pawn, depending on what he does. Um, so I have that pawn, and I have this pawn. Both of those are good looking pawns. Nice. All right. Feeling good about this one. And if we win this, we'll be back up to 1313. So that's funny. Now let's see. I can take this with check. All right. And then. And then what? And then I might move right back here because of this pawn. But either way, I'm going to give a check right there. Ooh, and then I have this. Although that pawn would be hanging, which he would take. Okay. Let's see, do I have any way to get up here? I don't think so. So I might move back to this, then go here maybe? need to do something with this rook. Should I bring the rook there? Possibly here? I feel like... Ah, Alright. Decisions. I like the idea of moving back to that. I could also push this pawn, but I don't think that helps me at all. Uh, I think I'm going to go back here. Threatening this. And then I do not actually have the option to push that, because that would lose a queen and a pawn. But if I were to do that, or this first, then I could. Right now, I think my biggest goal is taking that pawn. If he does push it, then I think I might push this pawn. Okay, he's aiming at that rook. Well, that's fine with me, because I was wanting to move here to block this one. Now I really can do that. Although, this pawn is still wide open. And if I take it, then I have a passed pawn here. Ooh, my neck kind of hurts. Ah. Let's see, what is he thinking? We've both been like really even on time this entire game. Interesting. What's the point of that move? I don't see it. So I think I might make myself a passed pawn. I like it. Probably blocking me from going here. My guess is that move is coming. Um, which I feel like that's a good move, actually. Although if he did that, then I would just go there. Let's see, he's planning on pushing this pawn forward. But if he does, I could just take it with check. I can already take it with, or I can already move there with check. I think I might start pushing this pawn. Because it is wide open with a rook behind it. I really hope he pushes that pawn. That'd be funny. He just moves the rook right back where it was. Okay, maybe he's planning on going there still. Which looks like a good move if you don't see that move. Okay, moving that rook. Well, now I have this check. 
but I don't see a benefit to it, so I'm going to keep pushing the pawn. Okay, well now I can just take this pawn with check. And then I can continue pushing this pawn. Right now is actually his best option at grabbing it. Oh, oh no, because I was giving him check. Okay, well now I need to move it. That was great. All right, this is going fantastic. Just running the pawn straight up the board and he can't do anything about it. That's fun. Now, what is he going to do about this pawn? Also, if this pawn ever ends up moving, I have that. I could maybe use that to my advantage. If, it's, uh, if this pawn is pinned to something, I could take here. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what he does. A pawn on... Okay. Well, that does nothing. Because I promote with check. And I can then take here. <laughs> but do you know what's more valuable than taking a rook? A checkmate is more valuable. So let me see. Okay. Perfect, he resigns. I didn't end up having a forced mate, so I'm glad I didn't go down that route. Um, but that game was incredible. One mistake, one blunder. I felt like I played really good. Um, what was my one blunder? It was moving there, why is that? And why is that? Because take, there, check. And then he wins that vision. Hmm. All right, well, I missed that, so did he. Either way, today was pretty good. We're back up to 1313. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.